in the yard. So we got a Linux condenser here. Um, it's a little too loud for the client here when it starts up because you know it makes that thump, thumping sound. It's the last time I installed a hard start kit and that helped a little bit but not quite. Uh, I noticed that it doesn't have any isolation pads under it so we are getting a little bit of a like a woofing sound from the uh, from the pad because it is hollow. So we're going to pop some of these in there. Uh, but also what we're going to be doing is we're going to do something a little different. This is a little trick that I've learned with these Linuxes. But we're going to install one of these guys. So this is a heat sequencer. So it's a sequencer relay. So basically we're going to set it up where the condenser fan comes on first, which will kind of free up the refrigerant. So when the compressor will come on 10 seconds later, it won't have to struggle as much. So it's a little bit quieter on startup. So we're going to get these pads installed. So here we go. Okay, so it's pretty easy to install these pads uh, when it doesn't have it. We're just going to unscrew the straps. And then one of the things I like to use is I like to use a flat bar. You just slide it under there like that, lever it up, pop your pad in, do that on all four corners, and that's it. So I'm going to get to okay, that. Okay, so we got our screws out. Take a pad, flat bar underneath, pick up on it. You want to get it close. And... First one's done, and we'll do that four times. Well, three more times, so, yep. Okay, so we got all four pads, and so now we just screw back, or screw our, um, our straps back in, and we're good to go on that. So next we'll hook up the sequencer relay. Okay. Okay, so this is our sequencer relay. We got down here, this is our 24 volt coil. So we're going to be hooking that to the contactor. So when the contactor is engaged, it will energize this, but this will actually delay the power. So we'll put in our line voltage for our common side here, and we'll hook up our compressor common and the compressor saver kit common here. And so the idea is the fan will spin, and then 10, 10 seconds later this will close and turn on the compressor. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a little hole, stick this little arm in there, and then a screw to hold it in place. All right, so you're going to need two low voltage wires with uh, female spade connectors on each end. We're going to connect these to the contactor and then to the relay side as well. So one for each side. So we'll use the blue as a common and the purple as a uh, uh, 24 volt. So, yeah. And then we will do our high voltage side. So, okay, so we've got our little sequencer relay here. So you can see we have the two wires from the low voltage sides connected to the contactor, see here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our common from our compressor, we cut it in half because usually the wire is gonna be long enough so you don't have to add anything. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put female ends on this. So you wanna use these, these nice big ones so they fit. And basically we'll plug one on the bottom and that will be from the line voltage for right here going in and then just to the compressor on the top so once it receives 24 volts it's gonna delay for about 10 seconds so the condenser fan mode is plugged directly in here it'll come on first and then eventually the compressor will and then we're gonna put the common on there and then we also have the uh, common for the hard start kit connected there too uh, I usually put it on the same circuit just in case I don't think I think you could just leave it here, but I'd rather do that so it doesn't mess with the potential relay. That way it works properly. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and put the ends on and plug it in. And then in order to test it, we'll need to energize from the thermostat because we need the 24 volts in order for that to function. If you just push it in, it's not going to really, it'll just come on. Uh, just the fan will come on and nothing else. So yeah, so uh, we're going to get that done. Okay, so we got everything hooked up, as you can see. This is our line voltage from our contactor. And then this one here goes straight to the compressor. So let's power it up and see what's going on. So we have our amp clamp on here just to make sure nothing's crazy, but we should be good. So we're gonna wait till this thing comes on. Okay, so as you can see, the condenser fan came on and we should get the compressor coming on in a little bit. Compressor. Just pulling a 
something else. Much quieter. But that's pretty much one of the things you can do if you have a new install and it's just noisy on startup. Isolation pads, hard start kit with a sequencer relay, and that just really quiets it down. And that's pretty much how you do it. And that's gonna get you a lot quieter condenser on startup. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, and tell me what a horrible technician I am, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.